I am so thrilled now to welcome Mercy Chepkoech Sigay, a 19-year-old youth innovator who has developed a motion sensor to combat the dire issue of poaching in the national parks of Kenya. Please join me in welcoming Mercy to our stage. Hi. Hi. My name is Mercy Sigay. I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, first, I'd like to thank you for being here and listening to me. Um, to the UN Foundation, Mashable, 92Y, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to speak, on to speak today. This is my first time in the US, and I'm excited to be here, and I'm enjoying myself. This is my story. Well, when I was young, when I was a small girl, about three years old, my parents would take me to game parks and game reserves, um, safari reserves, and through that, I was able to nature, nurture my love for animals, the passion I, that drives me today. And this love has led me to finding a solution for a problem in my country. What you see up there is an elephant on the ground, dead, bleeding with no tasks. An example of such an elephant is Satao. Satao was an elephant that was born in 1968, but sadly, it died on 30th May 2014 due to an arrow, a poisoned arrow by a poacher. This is a devastating situation in my country, and I saw this and started working towards a solution to ensure that all elephants are not killed like this. According to statistics, National Geographic states that about 100,000 elephants were killed in the last three years. And if this continues, in the next 10 years, we probably won't have elephants. And I'm sure all of you here sitting in this hall would want to see an elephant standing magnificently and not lying down dead on the ground. So how this journey began? It was an innovation competition that inspired me and my team to begin this process. This innovation competition is called Innovate Kenya, which is run by Global Minimum. They inspired us to begin something and do something about this problem. Not only did they do that, they connected us with people who were able to help us with this solution. We got mentorship both locally and internationally. The Media Lab, MIT Media Lab, was a huge factor in this. The iHub, the Fab Lab, also helped us out with this great innovation. So my, you're probably asking yourselves, what is this solution? Well, it's this right here. What, we, what you're seeing right now is really basic. It's a prototype. Right here is the motion sensor. And this motion sensor senses about 360 degrees around it, about nine meters in range. The motion sensor is connected to a breadboard. And the breadboard is whereby we're just making sure that my wires don't get jumbled up and that electricity flows well. From that, it's connected to the Arduino. And this is the CPU of my whole system. It makes sure that, it makes sure that everything is working properly. The blinking light is an LED light. It blinks to show that there's motion going on. And from that, I can see this data on my laptop screen. What you see up there is a code, and that code runs my whole system. And, in the, and the final product is seen on my serial monitor. And on this serial monitor, you can see that motion is being detected. And where there are numbers, it shows that the level of motion is at a lower rate. And with this, I'm able to detect intruders in game parks and game reserves. 
So what I'm doing is stopping the poacher before they actually kill the elephant. Well, I've not been doing this alone. Right there are my teammates. On the right is Joyce, and on the left is Tracy. These girls have been with me ever since the beginning. We began this project in high school, and we plan to continue doing this over the next few years and making sure that our project is a reality and that elephants in my country are left alive. <laughs> 2030 is something we all look forward to. I look forward to it as well. I'm seeing a place where rhinos, elephants, will be in peace with humanity. And I would like to thank Global Minimum, which is an innovation, which is a, an organization that has been able to inspire young people like myself. And through this inspiration and through this motivation, we're able to solve problems in our local communities. So therefore, do join me in this fight against poaching and let us stop the killing of wild animals in all over the world, in Kenya, in Africa, and hopefully to see all of you in Kenya enjoying this beautiful scenery, this feeling of joy when you see these animals. Thank you.